Hello, Northern Era we are. How are we all doing? Um, I'm not going to bother putting any more on from the um, Hilton Sutton DVD series. <coughs> I've uploaded more or less nearly everything from the first disc. Um, but this is the um, DVD set. Revelation 1.3 says, Blessed is he that reads, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. And that's Revelation 1.3. Obviously it's an in-depth visual study of the book of um, Revelation. I'll just read you some stuff on the back. Um, Revelation, God's End Time Love Letter. Now, Dr. Hilton Sutton takes you through an incredible journey of prophetic insight in this 14-hour study of the book of Revelation. For the first time, you will easily understand what so many have called the deep mysteries of Revelation. Revelation is not a book of doom and gloom, but a loving reminder of the glory and grace that our Father has in store for us. I'm just going to show you a bit of this. <coughs> now, these DVD discs need to be stuck down with some glue well, the plastic thing underneath. Because <coughs> it's like nearly falling apart. <laughs> now, the first disc, um, which I've uploaded, is from Revelation 1 1 to Revelation 2 15. <coughs> uh, and as you can see, oh, the, see, see what I mean? The, the, um, it's all falling apart, this. <coughs> I mean, I've had it for about. Maybe seven years, I think. And there's eight, eight discs in. So if, if you've got a bit of money to spend, I would recommend that you, you know, that you buy it, basically. <coughs> now, disc eight has got some bonus material on. Actually, I, I can't remember what the bonus material is. But on the back, it's got $120. $120. I can't remember how much I paid for it now, but there were this, a book, and a large, you know, A3 study book as well. And I think it were about £30. Um, I actually bought this at a Benny Inn meeting about 2006, 2005. I can't remember. So I thought it was, you know, it was a good bargain. I know some people right there, you're going to be thinking, oh my word, you went to a venue meeting. Well, yeah I did. And I know that God works in his meetings. I know Benny Inn has been wrong a lot, lot of times, but nobody's perfect. And I think he's a much better preacher now than what he was in like the 90s. Um, on that but you know I don't really watch him as much or listen to him a lot these days um, I mean he, he's friends with people like Mike Murdoch and that um, like prosperity gospel teachers um, which kind of puts you off on that and you know you, you hear too many stories about of him being a very rich man who's got a mansion and that. Obviously, when I went to see him, you know, I, d I didn't know nothing about those stories and that, but Hilton Sutton, I think he's a genuine guy and it's a very good DVD set, this. So, I'm not going to bother uploading anything else, but if you're, if you're interested, um, you might want to buy it for yourself. 
um, you know, it's highly, highly recommended. I'm just going to put the light on my camcorder, so I don't know, because it is a bit dark. Aha, uh -huh, right. Oh, it's a bit better, isn't it? You can see a bit better now. Uh, I'm just going to open it again because I'm not sure if the camcorder got anything on. Um, Falling all open. Well, I do believe that the book of Revelation is um, important, and you don't hear churches talk about it or stuff because I don't know why. So I think some people can be a bit confused by it, but to me, it's it's not really confusing when you read stuff. You know it. I'm just telling you. I mean, just the other week I was in church, and after we we met up somewhere, and um, I says I said to somebody, you know, I, nobody seems to read from Revelation. Somebody says, oh, you've got to be very careful with Revelation, because a lot of people just read it out of context, just little bits and that, um, and it's very symbolic and and stuff. Um, but. I, I, I just don't get it. I seriously don't. Um, and sometimes I've um, Bible study. You know, I read the Bible with someone. Where one of my friends, he reads. He, he he sometimes brings his Bible, or so if he does forget, I'll read something on the internet. You know, BibleGateway dot com. Um, that's a very good um, website. For, for the Bible, you know, you can select New King James Version. All the versions are on, actually. But, you know, the other week, it, my friend said to me, Oh, right, so what, what do you fancy reading from? You know, I don't always pick it, but I said, Oh, Revelation. Oh, no. Oh, no. I only read a little bit, and then he said, Right, that's enough. That's enough. I thought... You know, as a Christian, he doesn't read. He, read, he does read the Bible. He's a very good uh, Bible reader, much better than me. Uh, you know, I think he reads it every day. The Bible, but it's it's strange, isn't it? People, you know, what people actually think of the Book of Revelation that they ignore it. I don't know, but I just want to share that with you, and um, I'm going to do another video in a bit. So. Catch you in a bit.